I just want to talk about two ideas. And obviously, take the idea and use it to your own life. I want to talk about inheritance, Yerusha, and divorce. Inheritance, Yerusha, when a person dies and leaves over money for his children, I have heard, I even know personally, there are families who were so close. So close. I know sisters that were so close. People that are so close. And a little bit of money created such machlikas that they did things that they regret forever because nobody's talking. Nobody cares about anybody else. Whether this cursing or not, I don't even want to mention. I just pretty much mentioned it by saying I'm not going to mention it. And it's just, it's unbelievable. This was the closest family. If they would have just run the business together, it would have been amazing and love and geschmack. And they used to go away every umtif. They used to go away every weekend. They used to do this and that. And now there is nothing. And when you even mention the name, ooh, ooh. You know, ooh, ooh, don't even mention the name in front of me. Don't even mention any name that sounds like that name. And you know what? Those letters. Don't ever say words with those letters. And it just gets crazy. And it gets crazy. Because of the anger, because of the fighting, because of the honor, because of the jealousy, because all these, it just, it rips you out of your life. And there's a lot of stories like this. Don't be one of those stories. It's just not worth it. Who wants children who are very wealthy and very successful, but hate each other? I don't know anybody like that. Who wants to break up and they're, fa- it's just, it's unbelievable. And where does it come from? Achleikas. And when you're in it, you can't see a thing. When you're out of it, it's like, whoa, what are you guys doing? You guys are tearing apart your everything. I don't care. And then another idea, and okay, that's also pretty brief, but I, I think you get the point. And just use that point and transfer it to whatever it is that you're going on in your life. Different, and just stay away. Stay away. Make up. Make a call. Just make up with that person. It's not worth it. It's not worth the pain. For what? For a little bit of covet? If you even get covet? It's not worth it. And another idea which comes up, unfortunately, a little bit too often is divorce. By divorce, by many divorces, the children, when there are children involved and there's a lot of hate and there's a lot of fighting and mediators and nobody's talking and courts and this and that, very often, unfortunately, maybe only by non-Jews or maybe, I don't know, hopefully not by Jews so much. And if it is, let's try to figure it out in the tshuva. But the children are used as weapons as missiles, as nuclear missiles. And people damage their children forever. Create a massive reality for their children that they will be getting divorced multiple times and they will not have a functional life. It will be deep dysfunction because you're using them because of your machlikas, because of your pain, because of your anger, because of your jealousy. We destroy the people around us and the people that we love most. It's, it's just so sad and it's so painful to see and so painful to hear about. But people will not hear. It's about the principle. It's about the principle. All of a sudden now the ulam cares about the principle. What about in high school? Nobody cared about the principle. Okay, that's a joke. But it's not about the, about the principle. You want to be right? You want to be right? It's the right thing to do. You want to be dead and right? Remember the guy who drove into the highway? It was his right of way. Yeah, but there was a truck coming. Yeah, but it's my right of way. And he drives and he gets killed. And on his grave it says he was right. He was dead right. Sometimes it's better to be wrong and happy. Sometimes it's better to be wrong and take care of your children. Sometimes even if you're right, it's better to make believe that you're wrong. Now again, obviously, everyone has to know their situation. Everyone needs Das Torah. But use your Seichel. Try to get that logic, even though it's so challenging to get Ida Machlekes, and save the people you love. These are the people you love, these poor children. There are so many of them. So many of them. And they're being destroyed because of Machlekes. There's a much bigger picture, I would say. Yes, a lot of us go through challenges and some people have to go through very painful ones. Okay. And we have to try to do the right things to stay healthy. But we have to remember that ultimately HaKadosh Baruch Hu is watching us. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu put, put us here. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu is carrying us. In every tkuf of our lives, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is carrying us. And that means we'll be able to make it through. But we don't have to do it by destroying everybody around us. 
We don't have to do it by, by creating massive machlekes because of our covet, which literally takes us out of our world and destroys us. So, so now who's happy? Like I'm saying, now, now let's say you won, fine. So all your kids are off the derech. And she's in this, and you're here. <laughs> now, now, now it's better. Now it's now you're dealing with other issues. I'm saying it's a never-ending thing. Once you get involved in the it's a never-ending battle, and you rip apart everybody. Imagine you just take it in, and you're like, you know what? This is so much. This is a bigger picture. Yes, I've been through a very hard thing. Okay, and maybe I am right. But what would Das Tera tell me to do? Now, if Das Tera has a chesed, and you're supposed to be doing certain things because it's a danger to your children. Or the, the spouse is a danger, or you, okay, fine. So then you speak to your das taira. But to do things because of principle, and to do things because of, <laughs> you know who I am. You don't even know who you are. Because if you knew who you were, a tzalem alakim, a child of God, an ambassador of God, a role model, a light onto the nations, you would not be doing what you're doing.